Kim, what is our second main topic today? Okay, this comes to us thanks to William R. Hey, John and crew. One movie I feel like that is flying under the radar is Scream. It's already within a week from its release. The social media review embargo just dropped, and it seems like a lot of critics and fans of this iconic slasher franchise has gotten a lot of positive responses. Seeing reviews that are praising the cast, story, the direction, the jump scares, ghost face, and so on, what are your thoughts on the very positive first responses? Does this get you any more excited for the movie? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in, William. And you're right. Sc the new Scream is it's, it is flying under the radar, mostly because of two reasons. One, nobody cares. And number two, <laughs> it's going to be shit. Okay. So let's, that's why it's flying under lies the radar. Lies and lies, but continue. Nobody cares and it's going to be crap. So nobody cares about <laughs> Scream, whatever. Well, maybe that's not so true because you're right. The first reactions for Scream have started coming out. I was invited to a screening of Scream the other day. I didn't care, so I did not go. Well, I don't I don't go to nine out of ten of the screenings I get invited to anymore. But uh, I, I certainly wasn't going to drive out to L.A. for Scream. I wasn't going to. Who cares? No one cares. Well, maybe I missed out. Because right now, the responses this movie are getting aren't just good. They're fantastic. Like, they're getting really, really great responses. Uh, our, our good friends over at Joe Blow, uh, like, uh, said the following. They said, we loved Scream. Uh, it's, a, it's a movie fans of the series will not be disappointed by. Funny, self-aware, very bloody, uh, and timely. Both the returning cast and the new ones bring a real sense of fun, which honors the original, making uh, a few intriguing upgrades. Uh, Heather Wixon, one of the great horror writers out there, writes, As someone who has been in love with this franchise for a little over 25 years now, I totally and completely loved the Scream movie. Brutal kills, fun mystery, and both the legacy cast and newbies were great. Wes would be proud. Uh, Megan Navarro writes, what a welcome return to Woodsboro scream is a razor sharp bloody and the word bloody is being brought up a lot <laughs> bloody introspection on the genre and Wes Craven's legacy all the feels and one hell of a genre start to 2022 my horror heart is so full. Uh, this comes us from Eric Davis over Fandango who writes the new scream is a blast and my favorite since the original well that's not hard. <laughs> nor is that saying much my favorite since the original there's some sharp writing here a nice balance of well-crafted scenes and amusing commentary on modern horror it also pokes a lot of fun at itself too while remaining bloody a bloody whodunit and a damn good time i'm a fan so look i'm sitting here reading these and i'm like really Maybe these are just the good ones they're reporting first. But no, the, the, the great ones, they keep on going. Simon Thompson wrote, Scream frickin' slays. It's a textbook example of how to revive and reinvigorate a franchise and to do it in killer style. Brutal genius. It has the razor-sharp smarts of the finest entries in the series. <laughs> I would never use razor-sharp smarts about this series. Anyway, uh, of the series with a third act that absolutely nails it. Two thumbs way up so we are getting like horror fans talking about how great it is we're getting more mainline things talking about it, and they continue the the platitudes keep going on uh john negroni writes scream the 2001 version or 2021 version is a fittingly loud bloody there's that word again a bloody good time at the movies it takes a knife to the heart of the modern requel machine elevator horror and toxic online fandom seriously no major film franchise is safe this is scream at its best since the first sequel easily again not a hard thing look and they go on they go on everybody i personally i even talked to a couple people uh last night who saw the film and they're like you should have gone man you should have gone this thing is awesome. I'm like, really? Like I said, you know, I don't generally like the franchise, right? Like I thought the first one was okay. I like the first scream, but like really, no, no, even though you haven't liked any of the rest, you would really like this movie. So I'm like, well, damn, I guess I got to go see this thing next week. I mean, listen, they, the person asked the question, does this make me more excited? Number one, it couldn't, it's going to be very difficult for me to get less excited 
for Scream. I don't know how I could get less excited for Scream the way it does, as it stands. But to answer your question, yeah, this makes me actually, I'm not even just interested now. I'm actually excited to see it now. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I just came out. I just came out. Sorry, I, I should have kept oh. that in my head. I, oh. I gotta say, oh. I have oh. bypassed the interested stage because again, there's a couple people who know my taste pretty well. Who God told me and said, "No, John, you're gonna love this movie." I'm like, really? And one of the greatest pleasures as a film fan is sitting down for a movie that you're not expecting much out of and having a really good time. You're right. That is one of the great pleasures as a film fan. And so I got to tell what, you know what? Yes, mark the day. I am excited to see Scream. I'm excited to see Scream. Rob, you're hearing all these, uh, you're hearing, you saw a lot of the reactions coming out of it. Uh, let me ask you this. Where were your expectations for this movie? And does this do anything to move your needle of excitement? Well, I, I should say I'm a huge fan of the original Scream. I thought it worked both as a deconstruction of the genre, but also itself wound up being a pretty transgressive horror film on its own and i thought that was a really interesting way to go i mean you find out spoiler alert there's two different serial killers there's their teenage boys it's a precursor to the world of columbine or the post columbine world we lived in i thought it was a great great horror film and why they don't release the uncut version on home video please put it out uh because i like seeing drew barrymore's innards flowing out and they cut that out all the time. Um, I have the laser disc, but I'd love it in 4K. But still, uh, I the series was fine. You know, one, two, three, four, fine. But to hear that this film, people seem to love it. I, I, I'm I'm still dubious nowadays because I'm hard on horror. It's a genre that I expect a lot from. But John. I've read a lot of online pundits, even even ones you you didn't mention, who whose opinions I I I trust. They liked it too, and if it's that good, well, maybe I'll roll out for it. Maybe I'll have to see it opening day. I gotta ask Ray. Ray, have you ever? Because you're not generally. You guys may not know this about Ray. Ray, you're not generally a big horror guy per se. Have you ever seen the original Scream? Yeah, yeah. You, you did. I don't remember okay. it, but um, like I said. If it's if this is good, I'll check it out. Um, it's just that you know the Happy Death Day. Oh God, are, I love that movie. Like so I much. really like that one. And then I don't know if Resident Evil is like considered horror, but I still like that franchise as a whole. Like I'll watch any Resident Evil. I, I mean, do you consider? I'm 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 going off topic. Um, do you I, consider I, it a horror or more like a? No, I put it uh like the, thriller. The the, the genre, the, not thriller. Uh, shit. That's what it is. Oh. That's what it is. Wow. Oh, oh, that's, no, no. To answer your question, Resident Evil is horror. <laughs> it's zombie horror. It's action horror. I was horror. looking for the not of, not of approval from you, Robert, but and, I guess you're not on that train either. Dude, I got Am the box out of all the Resident okay, Evil movies. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> Come on now. I can always look to you when I need help. I always look to you when I need I help. I gotta tell you, now. though, I'm disappointed. I'm actually kind of a little bit disappointed that you've seen Scream because I already had, I was expecting you to say no, and I already had this video we should do in our head of sitting down ray watching scream for the first time i oh, no but, I, I actually like the killer in scream like i actually have like an action figure of the killer the ghost face it's like oh, one yeah. of my favorite masks I, I don't know why so kim what about you you had a chance uh well first of all i gotta say this too i thought the trailers for this movie were abysmal mm -hmm. i they weren't interesting at all so i and like hearing these reviews and me being sad i don't know what do you think have you been looking forward to this and what do you think about the reviews i'm so excited to see scream look i don't seek out horror um there's a few horror films that i really like but something about scream that's really funny i have to go to the right theater in the right neighborhood to see it because i don't watch scream movies silently right <laughs> i'm like girl please please right behind you right behind you <laughs> i have to sit there and i have to scream with other people my mom and my sisters we're not like horror aficionados but we do love a good scream movie because we are shouting constantly at the screen and that is so much fun scream is one of those series for me that i i don't sit still and go ooh, 
oh my oh who is it i'm like i bet it's you look at you looking all sour and upset i love yelling at the screen with screen movies i'm so excited that people are liking this honestly i really like i really love courtney cox david arquette nev campbell i'm excited to see them back like they always are but um i'm so excited that people are liking this and i i love jack quaid I'm becoming such a huge Jack Quaid fan. Like, I really like him. In my head, I have a theory about who it is already, and I don't even really know the plot. But I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to yell at the screen. All right. Well, guys, the question is for you. What do you think about these reactions? I got to tell you, I am shocked. <laughs> and I am surprised. And I'm excited <laughs> to see this movie now. Well, that's the best part. We should is that right? together. Well, yeah, we should. I, we I mean, should all go see it together. I'm yes. excited to see something that I wasn't excited about. You know, I mean, I think is that what life's all about? Yes. To get Maybe excited. This is about where John changes. You know, all his ways. All his ways. Yes. The beginning, but then he gave me that shit thing right now. So I said, <laughs> "Oh, it's only temporary." <laughs> only temporary. Change. The Resident Evil movies, you know, just like Monster Hunter, great B films. Come on. But, but I was telling you the chat. I'm I'm very happy that you're actually on board with this now because. Uh, you weren't even gonna, gonna give it a time of day. So I wasn't. Even, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't. Even, I had no. I had no plans to see it. I wasn't even gonna go watch. I wasn't gonna waste my time. But you're wrong for that. Sounds. It sounds like, <laughs> it sounds like it's I didn't great. think there was a chance. But we're gonna have to I all guess. go see a question. Is for you guys. What do you think about the reactions coming out for Scream? I still don't think it's going to do crap at the box office. But maybe that'll surprise me too. Whatever you guys are feeling about it, jump yeah. down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.